Hey guys, what's going on? Mike here, bringing you another Machine Effects video, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make the Falling Man, as seen in my uh, newest video, um, Only Escape. So this is what you're going to be making. It's the Falling Dude. Alright, so let's get started. What you're going to need, or what the programs you're going to need is uh, After Effects, at least CS4, and uh, Adobe Photoshop. You're also going to need a picture of a uh, Spartan, or whatever, like face down on the ground, so you are able to get a good angle to uh, look like he is actually falling. So um, let's get started. First thing you're going to want to click is the uh, polygon polygonal lasso tool. That's what I like to use. You can use a different one if you want. But that's what I like to use. So what we're going to do, we're going to for our Mac it's uh, Command Plus. I think for Windows it's uh, Control Plus to zoom in. And you're going to start um, outlining the uh, Spartan. I'm just going to do a rough job because I'm trying to speed this up. I'm trying to get this done as fast as possible and finish it up. So once you have that, just go to uh, select, inverse, and double click on the picture, and click OK, and just delete. And you can delete all the surroundings. But since I did a sloppy job, all these outlines are going to show up. But I already did this right here. Everything's all nice and clean cut. So now what we're going to need to do is uh, duplicate this uh, five times, yeah. Right click on the layer, duplicate layer. I want to do this like five times. It's probably a shortcut to this, I just don't know what it is. Alright, so uh, take your layer and just make it so you can only see this one. Grab the um, polygonal lasso tool again and cut out one of his limbs because you're going to need one of those and again go to select inverse and delete so you have your uh, right leg and then, then you can do the left leg so uh, to get rid of the uh, outline hit command D and then do the left leg. Same process. Delete. Oh wait, no. Have to have the layer selected, then delete. Alright, so you get your left and right leg. Now let's do the uh the body. Alright, so we have our body parts. Now what we're going to want to do is, uh, well what I did is I made it um, so it would mesh together nicely. I uh, moved the body parts away from each other. I grabbed the uh, smudge tool and I just um, the right leg, no, this one. Smudge the uh, the edge of the the leg so it doesn't have that sharp edge when um, when you're trying to animate it later. So just do that to all the edges of the uh, the limbs, and you'll be good. Where's the other one? Yeah. So I already did this, so I'm just gonna do that and. So you're gonna want that. You're gonna want that in the end result. So when you, you can, if I can move this, oh, wrong one. You can easily just put it on there, and it meshes well. All right. So uh, just um, save that. 
as a PSD file to your uh, desktop. I'm not going to do that because I already have it. And then open up After Effects. Alright, go ahead and just um, drag your body skydiving dude into a new composition. So there's your guy. And what you're also going to need is, uh, for this to look good, you're going to need um, some footage. Here we go. I got... Wait, let me fix this. I got some uh, panning down from above to the floor shot. Pretty simple. That's what you're gonna need. That's what you're gonna need to make this uh, shot work. All right, so let's take our um, dude, scale him down a little bit. And we're going to have to cut out each of these limbs separately. So let's mask them out with the mask tool, with the pen tool. And just duplicate it. Get rid of that mask. Let's get the body. Duplicate it. Alright, so we got all our body parts. Now let's just uh, put them together. So, put this onto his left arm. That's the body, right arm. And then you have that. And you're going to want to name these two, so I'll name it left leg. Alright, so we have all that, and now we're going to want to animate it. So, this is a very long process, but if you want to do it right, you're going to have to pull in there. So, what I just clicked is the pan behind tool, which is this little dot right here. You're going to want to put it right where you want the, uh, the joint to move. So, if I went to... If I hit R and started rotating it, it would rotate in the right direction that I wanted to do. Like say I had it on the foot, then it would start rotating around the foot. But I don't want that. I want it to be right there. So I just want to do that for every single, uh, every body part. All right, time for the keyframing. So this guy's fallen. We want it. We want his uh, legs and arms to move. We hit the stopwatch around the rotation. The rotation is all we're, we're going to be using, so don't worry about anything else. Um, and move forward in time. Move it a little bit. Forward in time. Move it the other way a little bit. This way, once well, so it ends, so. Oh no! Yeah, you could probably want to go to zoom in here, so you have more room to move this stuff around. So that that looks half decent. Let's go to the right leg. Hit R. Keyframe it. Move it a little bit. Move a little bit. And move a little bit. So now we have his legs moving. Now let's work on the right arm. So he's got his freaking 
arms moving and whatnot. That looks pretty goddamn nice. All right, so we got all that done. Let's make a. Excuse me. Put this all in one. Let's go to layer, precompose, make it the body guy. And there we go. We got our moving homie G. And now we're going to want to make a layer, new, no object. And parent this to the null 2. And we're going to want to make this guy move around a little bit. So on the null, hit P for position. Oh, no, no, no. Not position. My bad. We want to go to scale. What am I thinking? Scale. So he's going to be falling already. And the camera's not moving yet. So we want him to be all the way down there, maybe. So he's like, whoa, I'm going. And then the ca camera catches up. And maybe he falls a little faster. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, oh, oh douche. And then he hits the floor. <laughs> and we'll probably end right there. All right. I think I'm satisfied. Unless uh, in the video it has that uh, color correction to it. But that's a whole different thing. But yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And if you have any suggestions, please leave it in the comment section below. Thank you, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.